Hymn writers often find their inspiration in uh, the beauty of the natural world, in God's creation that we see all around us. And uh, an example of that would be, you know, uh, the mountains, a Purple Mountain's Majesty, for example. But did you know that the Berkshire Mountains, right here in New England, were the inspiration for a very famous hymn? Henry Van Dyke was born in 1852, and he lived until 1933. Upon graduation from Princeton Theological Seminary, uh, he went to be the minister at United Congregational Church in Newport, Rhode Island. From there, he went and became the minister at Brick Presbyterian in New York City. In 1899, he became the Murray Professor of English Literature at Princeton University. And then in 1912, he was elected to be president of the National Institute of Arts and Letters. From 1913 to 1916, he served as the US ambassador to the Netherlands and Luxembourg. Now, I think I got all those dates right. Uh, but uh, suffice it to say that he was a very, very accomplished uh, individual. But I'm getting ahead of the story. Let's back up to 1907. In 1907, Williams College in Western Massachusetts invited Van Dyke to be the guest preacher uh, in residence. And during his visit, he was invited to stay at the home of the college president a gentleman by the name of Hal Garfield. And Garfield reports that one morning during his stay, Van Dyke came down to the breakfast table and placed on the table in front of him uh, a paper that had the uh, hymn that he had just written the night before. And that hymn was, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. Um, Hal reports that uh, he said, Here's a hymn for you. Your mountains were my inspiration. The mountains, of course, being the Berkshires. He said, it must be sung to the music of Beethoven's Ode to Joy. So here we have another example of music inspiring a hymn text that was added later. Perhaps Van Dyke um, had Beethoven's immortal melody from the closing chorus of the Ninth Symphony you know, playing in his head as a kind of interior soundtrack as he was enjoying the, uh, the beautiful mountain scenery. But in any case, the hymn that resulted is generally considered by hymnologists to be one of the greatest expressions of sacred lyrics in the English language. Let me give you an example. All thy works with joy surround thee, earth and heaven reflect thy rays, Stars and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, flowery meadow, flashing sea, chanting bird and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. My hope for everyone this summer is that if you are able to get away on vacation, and especially if you're able to get into the mountains, whether it's the Berkshires or the White Mountains or the Green Mountains or really any kind of mountains, uh, that you take this hymn with you in your heart, uh, the words and the music, as a kind of interior soundtrack, uh, because it is so very uplifting, and it expresses so well all of the joy and wonder of what it is to be out in God's beautiful creation.